There are many different parts to a typical window. Let's do a rundown of each to help get you comfortable. The Windows 7 address bar is lifted straight from the top of Internet Explorer and glued on top of every folder. It has three main parts. Backward and forward buttons, the address bar, and the search box. The backward and forward buttons are these arrows that keep track as you forage through your PC's folders. The address bar displays your current folder's address, its location within your PC. The search box does just that. It rummages through your folder's contents to find what you're looking for. The command bar is another part of the window. But don't worry, you don't need to know much about this one. Windows 7 automatically places the right command buttons above the window that needs them. For example, if you open your music folder, the command bar quickly sprouts a Play All button for marathon listening sessions. If you don't know what a button means, hover your mouse pointer over it and a little description pops up. The navigation pane is another important tool in Windows 7. It gathers up your PC's most frequently used items. It contains five main sections, Favorites, Libraries, Home Group for Home Networking, Computer, and Network. Click any of those sections and the window's right side shows you the contents of what you've clicked. The Details pane is at the bottom of Windows Explorer. This little strip lists arcane details about the item you're currently viewing. Open a folder, for example, and the Detail pane dutifully lists the number of files that folder contains. The real information comes when you click a file. Click a music file, and the details, they're all there. You can see the cover art, song's title, artist, length, and even a rating you gave it through Media Player. Now that you know your stuff, you'll have no problem navigating Windows 7.